Hi, Hi. Hi. Hiram here. A couple of weeks ago, I was doing some tests on this fancy feast stove. It's a wick stove made out of a uh, cat food can, a tomato paste can, and a ring of carbon felt wicking on it. Worked pretty good. I like this kind of a thing. Uh, for in the winter when it's cold, your jet alcohol jet stoves just are a real pain to get started. But uh, as long as you don't freeze your alcohol, these things light right up. Since I did those videos, I've had a number of people ask me, can you scale this up or scale it down? Well, I don't see why not. I made another one a little bit larger. This time instead of cat food, I used a tuna fish can, which... Ah, kind of the same thing. I don't remember what this can is, but I'll give dimensions down below as far as the diameters and whatnot. <clears throat> uh, it also has another piece of wicking inside. The single jet hole to let the vapor get out of here. I showed you that in a previous video. That I think that if you have a good pot sitting on here nice and smooth, which I don't have to worry about that with my pot on this one, it's all bent up and and uh, not flat anymore but with this thing being cut almost perfect if you put a nice flat pot on there and it seals it off as this heats up the vapor pressure builds up in here and if you don't have at least a single vent hole the pressure in here will push down on the alcohol and make it come out through the carbon felt much faster than what you want so that's why the one the single jet hole so I'm going to try this one today. You can also go the other way. This is a shaving cream can, a two ounce shaving cream can cut off, carbon felt on the inside, and then a cut off piece of a uh, cannoli form to stick down in there. Again, you know, you play with the sizes that you want. But I'm going to, this is a, this would be good for wide pots. This, not so much. I mean, I guess you could do it, but uh, you takes your chances. It seems pretty decent for a cup. What you might want to do is glue some disc onto the bottom of this to help stabilize it, but for a, a small cup, I can imagine these things would probably work all right. What I'll do now is I'll put one fluid ounce of methanol in here and let it soak into the carbon felt. I'll get my water prepped, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water to temp. Let's light this. Okay, now I ended up putting two fluid ounces of methanol in here because the one, the first fluid ounce just kind of got soaked right up into the carbon felt. Wow, that's a big flame. This uh, cat food can is about a little more than two and three quarter inches wide. That's probably the crap burning off inside the can. Let's put this on. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're two minutes into the test. The temperature's up to 137 degrees. Wow, this is pretty hot, although it's a much bigger flame, too. But you can see it's a nice blue flame all the way around the outside edge of the, the pot. So this would probably work a whole lot better with even a bigger pot than this uh, Boy Scout pot. I think I forgot to say the room temperature is 78 degrees. The humidity is 59%. It's cloudy. Looks like it's about ready to rain. So this probably won't take too much time to get up the boiling and then we'll see how long the uh, two fluid ounces worked. Might have even been able to do it with the one fluid ounce, but we'll see what happens. There we have 210, 211, 212 and 4 minutes 50 seconds. Huh, funny, I thought it would be much faster than that. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, got to a full boil of 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 4 minutes 50 seconds. Let's see how long this takes for run out. The flames are going. They're just about the only thing, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, is where the vent hole is. There's some a little bit of flame coming out of that, but I would say that it's the carbon felt is just glowing in places. I'm going to call it out at still a little flame coming out of the hole. As soon as I know when I pick this up, let's say 14 minutes 30 seconds for a run out. 
I know as soon as I pull this, pick this up, it's going to go into flame from the inner side. Nope, it really, there we go. Okay, a little confusing there, but interesting. So that was two cups of water, starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in 4 minutes 50 seconds, and then ran out in 14 minutes 30 seconds. Now that was with two fluid ounces of methanol, because the first ounce that I put in here totally got soaked up into the carbon felt. When I put an, another fluid ounce in there, it barely covered the bottom of the can. Uh, so, in this case, in the first one that I did with this, that was one fluid ounce, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 5 minutes 13 seconds, and then continued to burn till 9 minutes even. So it's not, you know, it, a, an even curve there, but... Uh, Interesting. I don't know. It really heated up fast. At the two-minute mark, we were, I forget what it was, 137 or something degrees Fahrenheit. A lot of times these are only up to about 108 or somewhere around there. So I thought it was really taken off, but it slowed down then, I think mostly because it probably wanted a wider pot. This is about two and three-quarter inches across here. I forget what the diameter of this pot is. I'll look it up and then put it along the bottom here. But it only looked like there was about an inch of pot sticking out over the burner, you know, uh, in diameter. So probably a, a wider pot would have been much better. This might be pretty nice in snow for melting snow down in a, in a larger pot. Be interesting to see that this winter. Okay, so for those of you that asked if the fancy feast could be enlarged, yes, and I'm pretty sure it can be shrunk. But I hope this helps. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.